Ooh, what's up guys, and thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Skyrender. And today I'm going against Titan Atlas, other known as Richard. He's actually his brother today, so, uh, well, happy birthday Richard, really. Um, he's bringing a very, very strong team here, and this is an NU match, of course. And uh, it really comes to show here, being as he used really Gigas, Gramble, Lapras, Vinilux, Sceptile, Volplume. I was definitely fearing uh, the um, Ray Gigas because it's actually really, really potent. Uh, in NU, it's nothing really stopping it. If you don't have it killed before the top 5 turns, his slow start, of course, is coming at an end. And it's coming at you full force. And it's pretty much a timer to, you know, try to turn that one around. I myself has done some adjustment to my quote-unquote sand team uh, and trying to utilize that in NU. Of course, I haven't tried it that much. It's, it's very much better testing at this point. But I think I got my answers very much here. And uh, I'm using Kling Clang, Mantine, Electavire, which is a special set, not a physical. Uh, Optimus Prime or Golok, uh, Stoutland and Gigalith. Um, Stoutland and Gigalith is the same team that I've been using, or the same pokes I've been using throughout the week here, or before this week, obviously. So, other than that, let's actually see how this pull off. I was, so, like I said, they're really scared of his team, and... Uh, with for good reasons down that really good guess. And to be honest here in the beginning, I just wanted my sand up, so I just went right over Kling Clang, knowing that Kling Clang actually wall a lot of his pokes, both being a grass and uh, ice, is resistible to this guy. So and it's a very very defensive heavy Kling Clang, so I knew it was gonna be around for some time. So he gets to sleep off there. I didn't really mind it because I did outspeed and I got the sand up. So I just decided I'm gonna stay in, you know, go for a full switch, get out of there really. And like I said there, there's really nothing that hits me hard. Besides the granny, which I actually hoped had um, Earthquake, so I didn't fear it this that much. But it shows me it got the close combat, which it does well over 50% here. And to be honest, I didn't expect that. I really didn't. And uh, it really puts my poke on a timer here. So of course this is two, two turns of sleep, I was hoping go going up here next turn and going for a Volt Switch because that's my best bet, I mean how often do you sleep for five or four turns? So uh, I'm still asleep, so I pretty much sack off my Kling Kling here It looks like a very very bad play of me because I could have actually used or utilized this a lot better considering that we had to be forced to go for a uh, close combat of course and I couldn't just go into Golurk and actually resist that but I didn't have the right mindset there and ending up sacking him. So anyway, I go into full fear and use, of course, the retaliate, which is going to actually kill <laughs> this Volplume. I get a crit there, and it actually matters. I would done around 70%, but it gets the effect spore. So, I kind of feel that, you know, the Hax is balancing itself out. So, no matter. I'm glad I didn't get paralyzed. Poison is, of course, really, really annoying. So, I come to my senses here, knowing that it's gonna go for close combat. So, I really saw no reason to not go into Optimus Prime here, and I'll take that any day. So, he actually decides to say, and I went for Shadow Punch, because I knew it was my best neutral damage. And uh, he has a very good prediction here, going for a Toxic of course, but that is not the prediction that's good. The prediction is he's gonna switch out to uh, his, uh, his Regigigas here, hoping for, uh, for me to go for another of course, Shadow Punch, but I actually tried to take him out here with an Earthquake, so I did not expect to switch out Rig, I guess. So, the thought process is really, really good, and yeah, I tip my hat for you, Richard, but I got the upper hand here. And, well, I don't do enough here, of course, but, of course, my Golurk is packing the Dream Punch, which will do very, very fair damage. Sadly, I don't take him out, and that's a real bummer, because he will go for Confused right here, and um, let's just say that that it's not a gamble I want to take in conjunction with the Toxic. So I'm forced to switch out, which means that I get another free turn here for setting up that slow start, which I'm so fearing. So I'm going for Squall here, hoping to be able to actually take it out, of course. He went for an Earthquake, and this comes to show how worthless a slow start is. He doesn't take me out, and I'm not invested in any defenses or anything like that. So it just it's just a slow start that's, you know, screwing me over. So, four turns in, and I finally take it out with a Skull there. So, yeah, Ready Gigas didn't have to... Didn't get the chance, of course, to um, <laughs> win that game, but damn, it was close. 
Uh, so anyway, the Vanillox is in here. I know he's gonna go for the freeze dry, and I put it four times effective on my Mantine. So I'm forced to switch out, but look at that. Vulcan, my hero. Sadly, um, I did expect him to switch out, and the Iron Head will fall short there. I was actually hoping for Gramble, so that's why I went for an Iron Head. And uh, yeah, Rockslay will definitely have taken it out. Even Super Paul will have taken it out. So a huge misprediction there. But of course, I see that it at least switches moves. So I'm in a golden opportunity to beat a faster poke and take it out with a flamethrower. And Sceptile is coming in here. I had no idea what Sceptile was going to do. But I decided to switch out my Mantine knowing that if it's special offensive that I can take it. He actually shows me that I'm burden normal quick attack. It doesn't do anything, so it's not like a spirit. But damn, it's a physical Sceptile and uh, I actually lo I have lost the means to really deal with that. Uh, but at least he activated his Unburdened, which means that I don't have to fear it too much. And of course, Lapras is completely walling me, and like I said, I can't take a free try. I know these guys packs it, so I need to go into full. And of course, I go for a free try, and it does little too much damage. So I know I can't. I I basically just have one turn. So I go for that Giga Impact, and I'm finally not. I am not able to take it out. Which, which really, really sucks because I was actually betting on that because Lapras is still super potent. But of course, I get an honest opportunity here to bring in Squall. And uh, I should probably have seen him predict, uh, predicting that. That is gonna go for <laughs> the Sceptile, of course, because the Volt Switch won't do enough. A Flame for Leaf to take over 50%. So I go into Mantine, and I'm just hoping an Ice Beam will do enough damage, really. So he shows me the sword stance, so you know, getting that very very stressful now because I really don't think my Electavire can take a quick attack from a sword stance Sceptile. So it goes for Leaf Blade and it is enough to take me out. I really didn't expect that either. So damn it Mantine, damn it. So anyway, it, there's this is a moment of truth and I am actually able to outspeed. We discussed this during the stream that he is actually uninvested in speed. But 120 should definitely be enough to uh, outspeed Electivire. But after we checked it out, it turns out that we were both in a speed tie and I won it. And that was very very decisive because Sceptile could just render through my whole team. And now I got a golden opportunity to win this game. So of course the Gramble is in. I didn't think a Thunderbolt would be enough so I went for Volt Switch there. But showing that damage, Thunderbolt would definitely have taken it out. So I'm just going into my Optimus Prime here and uh, take a player up really. I don't have any further use of the Optimus Prime because he can't outspeed the Lapras either. And of course Electavire should definitely be enough to deal with that. And uh, I forgot that I'd actually outspeeded the Gramble. Had I thought about that, of course gone for a Shadow Punch or Earthquake. But you know what, no matter. I am a very very fine position. And uh, my Electavire will be able with a Thunderbolt to finish both off here. So, yeah, I really, like I said there, had he gone for a quick attack instead of actually trying to um, hurt me with a leaf blade, Richard will definitely have won this game because, like I said there, there is no way my gold lord could have taken uh, that damage at all, actually. So, it really, really sucks that it turned out like that. But at least I can give him that, that he would definitely have won. So, um, the only reason I win is because... Well, the brain thought that I <laughs> actually thought it was gonna be able to outspeed, and I get that. I've done that mistake myself. So anyway, Richard, thank you for this battle, and GG, man. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching. As always, you know I love the support. And other than that, I'm actually going to start a series here that is on Liteo's channel, or rather, I'm going to update on my channel, but it's going to be posted on their channel too. Uh, me and Anima and Sinon and Verdelet is going to uh, be on something that is called the Liteos uh, Gym Challenge pretty much. It's a seasonal battle where you go on against gym leaders and uh, it's, just, it's just a blast, just for fun really. But I want to try something else for my channel and uh, there are four the competitors of course. And um, yeah, those are the four that I know of and uh, we're gonna support each other as much as possible. And of course help each other out. So uh, the future battle here is going to be with the same teams. And um, yeah, I hope to actually upload a lot of those battles. Because it actually it seems sort of like a really, really fun idea. And of course the best players that defeat the eight team leaders are going to battle the Elite Four. Which are of course four players. And if they succeed, 
then they go into battle the, um, the leader, um, which has been the leader for I guess in season two, and we are season four now, so it's been around for some time. And the winner, of course, will take his place, if that's even possible. Um, so yeah, I can't tell you too much about my team. You're definitely gonna see it around here, and I hope to upload even for for tomorrow or at least Wednesday. So on that, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, have a good day. Alright guys, take care. Bye.